third graders reading research video number nine today we are, we are going to do a quick review and then we are going to think about how are your ideas changing about your subject okay so third graders let's think about all the smart things that you've already done you've hopefully you've done all of these things and if not you can you can continue to do them and add to your your research notebook so to research, boys and girls, we had like eight articles and you sequenced them from easy, okay, and hard. And then you looked through all of your articles and you noticed um, some subtopics that most of them um, had in them. For example, maybe a lot of the articles had information about your animal's body parts, their habitat, their diet, or their babies. Next, you chose one subtopic, okay? And, and you looked through all of your articles. Maybe you underlined or used a highlighter and highlighted all of the information that you found about your animal's habitat, or if your subtopic was babies or body parts, you just highlighted your one subtopic throughout all of those articles, okay? And then, boys and girls, you had your um, your research uh, folder notebook, and you had tabs. You you put tabs in there. So, if, if you were doing babies, then that's where you would put your notes about um, babies or young underneath that tab. And so, these are the smart things that researchers do. They think about subtopics, and they look in a variety of articles, books. Some of you have looked at videos. Some of you um, look, looked at epic books. And then, boys and girls, we did the really hard work of synthesizing. So maybe you had six notes about um, your animals, babies or young, and you put those notes together. Maybe you sequenced them. Maybe you added two notes together that um, gave you more information about how, how babies protect themselves. So we synthesized information. We took information from several articles and we combined them and put them together. The next thing that you should have done, third graders, is to notice the special vocabulary that went along with your topic. And you should have uh, put a tab in your notebook and made a word bank and some of you even made a glossary meaning you wrote down the special words of your subjects vocabulary and um, you gave me the definition of some of those words and uh, so that would be like maybe you used habitats or brood or molt was blubber one of your um, special vocabulary words or if you were, I'm doing a penguin, so uh, fledging, fledgling, habitats, brood, molt, blubber. Those were some of my special vocabulary words. And I made a glossary and wrote the definition um, about those words. And this leads us to where we've been the last two sessions, third graders, is thinking your own thoughts and growing your own ideas about your your um, animal about your subject well so today and every day third graders you can continue to take notes you can continue to look up more information about your animals and you can also choose another subtopic maybe you found everything you could about uh, your animals young and babies and so maybe now you want to find more information about diet or how they protect themselves and so you will repeat the same steps um, as you did with your first subtopic. So today, um, we are also going to focus on not just reviewing all the smart things that you've done and choosing another subtopic to uh, take notes on, but I want you to think very deeply and carefully about um, how are your ideas changing because research readers uh, become experts about a, a topic and they ask themselves questions, they think their own thoughts, they grow their own ideas, and they also 
ask themselves questions and they answer questions. One of the questions they, they think about is how are my ideas changing? So listen as I think about how my ideas are changing about penguins. So the first thing that I would do to consider this question is flip through my notebook and uh, think about all the notes that I've taken about penguins. And so I'm going to look through all my um, tabs in my notebook, kind of flip through the tabs, what sort of notes have I taken, and um, reread some of my notes. And then I'm going to answer the question, hmm, I used to think one way, but now after doing reading and thinking my own thoughts and growing my, my own ideas, I'm beginning to realize um, some things about penguins that I did not know before. So third graders, I'm looking through my notebook and I'm pausing and reading and I'm flipping through my tabs and I'm kind of sticking with my subtopic of, um, of uh, <clears throat> babies and how they get their food, how the adults get their food. Third graders, I am realizing that it is very difficult for penguins to get their food. I used to think they just waddled to the sea and found some fish and waddled back and regurgitated it to their, to their young. But now I'm realizing that penguins have a really tough life. It's very difficult for them to get to the sea. It's a grueling trek. It's hot. The rocks are sharp and they have to travel long distances to, to even get to the sea. And so I'm, my ideas are changing. I used to think it was pretty easy, just go grab a fish and head home and feed it to the babies. But now I realize that penguins have to take grueling treks across rocky terrains and up and over sand dunes um, just to get their food. So these are some, some things that I want you to practice thinking about and some questions I want you to practice thinking about. Um, ask yourself, how are my ideas changing because of the notes that I've been taking? Can you ask yourself some questions and answer the question? How are you, I used to think this way, but now I realize can you answer that question in, in your uh, notebook? Take a picture and send it to your teacher. Okay, third graders, keep up the good research. And remember, choose another subtopic and continue to take notes and become an expert on your subject. Okay, be kind and have a great day. Thank you.